Hey, Facebook and Instagram. Just wanted to come on and do a little update video of this past week. Uh, wanted to update you guys on what's been going on little by little. We're trucking along. Um, so this past week I went for a um, right breast biopsy. So the two centimeter mass, it's in the right breast. I went, they took three samples of. It was extremely painful actually. I did not think it was gonna be that bad. Um, when I went in for it, you know, I'm not, I don't really have anxiety, but I was like, that place just gives me like a heavy chest and stuff, but I did okay with it. Um, wasn't bad. Um, still waiting on those results, but they did say that typically that result will show the same thing that the right lymph node result already showed, but they just have to double check and make sure. Um, then I also, um, at that visit, talked to the radiologist who did the biopsy. Um, in talking with her, it was just like so much confirmation that God is working behind the scenes and has his hands in everything because um, talking to her pushed so many things forward, I guess, for me. And I asked her her opinion. Um, I was told by model, like my, some of my colleagues to go to Cleveland Clinic main campus basically go there, get a second opinion. Don't take your first, you know, the first thing that you hear as far as a treatment plan, go up there. They specialize in breast. Um, so I did make an appointment to do that. Well, talking with the radiologist, she confirmed that the lady I'm scheduled to see, who I just randomly ended up with, is amazing. Um, she specializes in young women's breast cancer. She only sees breast cancer patients and she's the oncologist up there. Um, also, she told me, you know, you need to see a breast surgeon, only breast surgeon, someone who specializes in breast. She referred me to somebody. She says, I'll tell them to call you. Within an hour of that appointment, I had three people calling me, a phys uh, physician assistant, a nurse, and a scheduler. They called me. They scheduled like three tests that I need done, like just the ball that... I don't know it feels like it was at a standstill for a minute and then she put all this in perspective and it just got everything moving um as far as like spirits i've been doing well um yesterday i had a little meltdown um throughout the day and it's just i i assume that that's how it's going to be i pray about it i know god is with me through this process um at our church this month the um, basically the saying it's women's month and they've the topic is choose joy and basically all they've talked about all month is in everything that you do no matter what the situation is it's up to you to choose joy and that's kind of really stuck with me um, especially in this situation I also met with oncology this week and um, the doctor that I did meet she was great I am still gonna get the second opinion but it seems like chemotherapy will be first and she set me up to have a chest port place next week and then also um, some more scans to make sure that the cancer is nowhere else in my body and only breast and lymph node um, and then she didn't schedule the first chemo session yet but they said it, they're thinking within the next two weeks and chemo will be what they say once a week every three weeks for a total of six sessions then after that so I was like trying to do the math and I think that's like four to five months of the chemo she said you know your side effects are going to be nausea vomiting diarrhea you're going to lose your hair um you know tiredness that kind of thing and then um after chemo is completed, they're gonna see how it does, watch the tumor hope, or the mass, they're gonna hopefully shrink it is their goal. Um, and then, you know, based on how it responds, then surgery would be after that. Um, and then after that, radiation they said is for six weeks straight every day. And then they said after radiation that because I'm HER2 positive, which I know means not a lot to most people, um, I would have to do some IV therapy again 
at the end and that they may have to incorporate the chemo back into that therapy on the back end to finish out a full year. It's a lot, I'm doing my best to explain it to you guys. Even me being a nurse, this is not my territory. This is all new to me, just like it's probably maybe new to you guys or maybe some of you have gone through it. Um, either way, thank you. I wanna thank everyone for all the messages, all the support. You guys have been wonderful, absolutely amazing. All the prayers, I couldn't be more thankful. I really appreciate it. Um, so many people are reaching out, you know, what can we do? Is there anything I can do? A friend of mine did set up a GoFundMe. Um, I'll put the link to that video, I'll share it. Um, feel free to share it, donate, whatever you can do. Um, and prayers are the utmost important. Um, thank you guys. If I think of something that I missed, I will definitely um, do another update. It's just been a lot. I wanted to do it after the first appointment, but it's just like, it's been nonstop every day. And for the next two weeks, I mean, there's appointments every day. Some days there's two appointments. I have so much, it's just nonstop going to the doctor, which I'm thankful for because I wanna get the ball rolling and I want to get this behind me. Um, it was shocking for her to say, you know, it's gonna be a year of therapy. And I looked at her, she's like, you'll have this chest port for a year. And I said, I guess I hadn't thought about that how long. And, and I guess even at that point, it still depends on how it goes through this year. So I don't know, it's been a lot. It's been overwhelming. The kids are doing well, hubby's doing well. Um, we're all just taking it one day at a time. So God is good. Um, continue to pray for us. Thank you guys. And we will see you again shortly.